So the next stop is to go to Leafin. Um, I, I think I'll go to Leafin first. And I'll buy Nuke while I'm there. I'll probably never use Nuke. But Leafin's really annoying to get to, and you don't want to have to go there twice if you don't have to. Because, I mean, we're like... Wrong button. We're like way up in this corner. And like, Leafin is that little glowy dot to the south of me. It's crazy. It's a long-ass walk. We gotta fight giants and dinosaurs, and it's just nuts. Wow, Zombles, really? I, I know I forgot to go to the end. I don't care. I'm gonna zomble it up. Leave Rio alone. Come on, he's trying to restore his hit points. 12.5% chance you're gonna attack Rio and... <sighs> like, these guys can barely even touch me anymore. Remember how, like, recently... These guys were really devastating, and now they're like, eh, zombies. They don't even have a crotch, it's just a blank black triangle. What's going on there? Totally nuts. Level 15. Oh, that means Will has magic spells now, which is lovely. <clears throat> Your promoted guys, technically if you're playing the game, trying to be as efficient as possible, promoted characters get fewer stat ups per level up than normal unpromoted characters. So if I had left them all like fighters and whatnot, they their stats would go up sooner and quicker than if I had not promoted. So the optimal way to promote, since the max level is 50 if you're going for max everything, is to wait until level 50 to promote. The only caveat is with knights who can learn three levels of white magic. So you want to promote them at level 47 so they get their three level ups to get their white magic. And then ninjas can get four levels of black magic. So you want to promote them at level 46 so they get their level ups and get their black magic. Ryo wants nuke. Because why not? There's no reason to not buy nuke. Those are not clinics. I know it had the heart sign, but totally not clinics. I don't even know what's going on in that little building. Nuke is the level 8 damage spell. It's really not that good, but why not buy it? I might use it just to have the charges do something for me in the last dungeons. That's if I even get a level 8 charge. I might finish this game before Ryo can even use level 8 magic. So, Pro Rings is next on the agenda, and then the next dungeon with more treasures. And killing a bunch of giants, because these guys just will not leave me alone. One-shotting a giant, that's insane. I love it, but it's insane. Ahem. <clears throat> The next big boss that I have to fight is kind of a crapshoot, but it's consistent enough that I feel confident going there now. I know, famous last words. And we're up at level 16. This crazy experience train just keeps on rolling. Furwolves are much easier if you have the Mute spell. Oh, which I do! I could have cast it. Oh, it stops that Frost attack, which is a lot of damage. So if you go to the Peninsula of Power, which I mentioned a while ago, the easiest way to get lots of experience there is to save your game and save scum until you get a whole batch of Furwolves, use the Mute spell to neuter them all, and then pick them all off one at a time, and you get a gargantuan amount of experience for that stage in the game. But, that is not a strategy that interests me anymore at this late stage in my life. No, oh, I think my antivirus or something just kicked in, so my stuff lagged for a minute. Our ankles are just bad. They're just bad all around.
Don't even bother fighting those guys. Armor shop is where I need to be. How many prayer rings can I afford? I think there's 60,000 apiece. Let's go to the inn first. And I will come out of that dungeon with lots more armor stuff to sell. So I can only pick up four pieces of armor in this dungeon. Oh, there's 20,000 apiece. So I'll just... Buy all of them. I only bought three, didn't I? I think they're shields. Yes. Oh, no, they're gauntlets. Okay, so I'll sell the gauntlets. And you can... Keep this shield. Sorry for taking that from you. Cell, Will, Gauntlet, yes. Cell, Jim. I gave it to Cole. Cole has it, yes. And that should do it. Four pro rings, nice. Okay, so I can only get two pieces of armor now. And there's more than two in this dungeon that I'm headed towards now. So I might have to throw stuff away, but whatever. You I know, mean, I don't think you can throw stuff away, to be honest. Uh, this might be really awkward. Alright, first floor. I might have to take this in multiple trips so I don't waste a whole bunch of whatever. I'm gonna stretch this visit out thanks to the heal staff gonna be amazing. When we were kids, we didn't even know you could cast spells with items. We literally just went through the entire game buying 99 heal potions before every dungeon and pretty much always using them all, like every single time. Not a fun way to play the game, but we were dumb kids. We didn't know any better. Back in the day, we used to play this game. We had a friend of mine who insisted that level 8 in World 3 of Super Mario Bros. 3 was called B, because she thought the little 8 graphic was a B. We're not going to judge, I'm just saying. This is the kind of intellect we were up against that didn't realize you could cast spells with items in Final Fantasy. Like, it would be a chore. Like It's your turn to buy all 99 heals this time. I did it last time. Heal helmets. Uh, Cole has that. You know what? I can give that to one of the guys up here. There. Okay. That'll work. That'll free up one of them. And I can drop from here, so... When I'm out of space for armor, I will just drop that silver helmet. Vorpal Sword is totally, totally worthless. An Aegis Shield? Who needs... You need a better shield. Because you've got an Iron Shield. The Vorpal Sword is pointless in this game because it's supposed to have an exceptional critical hit rate. Unfortunately, the bit of data in this game that keeps track of your critical hit rate is bugged. Instead of looking at the data that holds critical hit value, what the game does is it looks at the weapon's index. The index just being a list of all the weapons in the game with like the small dagger at one end and then the best sword in the game at the other. As a result, the further along on that list the weapon is, the greater your chance of getting a critical hit with it. So the Vorpal, which is supposed to be a really good sword because it gets a lot of critical hits, just straight up doesn't work. I am not going to sit here and fight a battle that can turn me to stone repeatedly. It was a fool's game. Scorch spell just ain't nothing. It's just boring to watch. This dungeon has two bosses in it. One on a spiked square and then one at the end. And... They're not really crapshoots. They are consistent enough that I'm kind of confident I can get through them. But getting through both of them and avoiding the giant super monster towards the end of the dungeon all in one run 
can sometimes be problematic. So we may see a couple of restarts. So I think what I'm going to do, just because the likelihood that I'll have to restart is there, I might get the equipment out of here and then bail on the dungeon with warp. I don't know, we'll see how I feel when I get up into the second half of the dungeon. Because right now I'm feeling pretty cocky. Guards just are take forever to kill and you can run from them, so... Hello, just beat it. Also, I've got two healers now. I can have Will also heal. Will and Rio can share that responsibility. Yeah, Will. And we'll start off by Zeus and these mummies. Just because it makes me laugh on the inside. Really, none of them? I didn't get any of them? Damn, son! Alright. We'll just see if we can't heal up, I guess, and Zeus them again. I'm like, yo, I got Zeus! And they're like, whatevs? I'd like to leave one of them alive, would be nice. No? Not gonna Okay, not gonna happen. Fine. Just because I can spend a few rounds healing, and that would be worth my while. I like this tre- this is my favorite organized treasure room in the game. I just like how the- everything's situated here. Like a ring of treasure boxes. Looks really fantastic. Has good feng shui in this treasure room like to meet the decorator here. I, I wouldn't really, that sounds really boring. Okay, got a fair amount of hit points back on this boss. Except he just took it all away again. So you saw that Rio took only a little bit of damage from that attack because he got a ribbon, and then Jim only took a little bit because of his new shield, which is nice. So we got golds, golds, Thor hammer, which is fun. Also casts, uh, oh, you know what? Now that I got the Thor hammer, I think that uses lit too. I want to, I want to check that first. I will check that in the next battle. So let me give the Thor hammer to Rio. Whoops. That was not intentional. There we go. Sun Sword, which I will finally... That's the armor screen. Uh, finally, we'll replace that Rune Sword you've been carting around. Some golds, and I can't hold any more armor. I need to get into a battle here. I think that is Dragon Armor, which is really helpful. Okay, I want to heal and Thor. Because if that Thor hammer cast lit too, I can give the Zeus gauntlet. Oh no, I don't need the gauntlets anymore. They've got pro rings now. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That works for me. I think I am actually going to stall here a little bit and heal. Once I get down to one cat man, that should do the trick. Boring though it may be, I do need the hit points. And you'll thank me later when I'm not buying heal potions one at a time from the shop. Or maybe you won't. I really don't care. Kind of upsetting that I've just got to trash that Zeus gauntlet after it brought me so much joy for so long. I'm just not used to having two knights. Usually I have more open armor slots to put treasure in because I don't have two knights vying for that spot. There's another heal helmet in this dungeon, too. I'll just give that to my other knight. It's fine. And hey, one more round of healing ought to do the trick. Pepsi's almost depleted. 
That means that this session is almost at an end. I know, our time together has been so memorable, but... All good things must come to a close. Right now, Will's poison must come to a close, because that's just ridiculous that he's poisoned. Well, like, poison? No thanks. Okay, there we go. 